Today I'm going to show you how to set up NTR Streamer and Input Redirection using KitKat. Um, this is going to be a way to one click and open everything you're going to need and press another key to close everything out again. So you're going to need a couple of things, but most importantly you're going to need a new 3DS. So not an old 3DS or a 2DS, it has to be a new model. So I have my XL right here. That's the first thing you're going to need. The second thing you're going to need is either an aux audio cable like this one but longer to connect your headphone out to your laptop line in so you have sound on your laptop but if you have done the bluetooth mod that i have on my channel you can use a bluetooth receiver with this cable to stream your audio wireless as well um, what you what you don't really need but is very useful is a usb Wi-Fi adapter. This is a 300N. Oh no, it's 600, but it. I think, I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter. As long as it's fast, it will be good. This is not the one I'm using. This is just another one I have. The one I'm using is actually right here inside. So normally I have a laptop, but that one is broken. So I have a desktop right now, but this one is on my table. And this, this USB hub, will make a hotspot from here so if my 3ds is here there's barely any range to lose any signal or something so i have a really strong connection rather than it going all the way to my router which is back there so this is much better and much smoother for getting a wi-fi connection and i'm hosting a network there so i have internet on my 3ds but it just doesn't come from my router it comes from here um so what you're gonna need on the 3DS is custom firmware and I have Luma 11.2 on here so that's the custom firmware I'm running and um, once you have custom firmware you're gonna, you're gonna need NTR custom firmware and input redirection um, these will both be in a package that I made and uploaded to Mega so that will be in the description I will show how to set all that up in a second but first I'm gonna give a quick uh, preview of how it's gonna look so let me focus on that. So first I'm starting input redirection. Then I start NTR. And this is NTR preview 4 which came out today so it's on the latest. And once I have that started up I'll press this this computer is a little bit slower than my laptop, so bear with, with the lag. But if I click this, you can see it's opening everything up. And now I'm streaming my 3DS. Now, this is not including audio because I haven't enabled Bluetooth yet. So to do that, first you have to, uh, it's not plugged in right now, so. Let me enable my Bluetooth receiver, plug it into this desktop. So now this is looking. And inside my 3DS is a Bluetooth transmitter and usually I don't open it but I have an LED here so I can show you. If I press this button, let me turn on the light real quick. So if I press this button here and hold it for 7 seconds, this LED will light up and now my 3DS is looking for a Bluetooth connection. So on my computer, I will now listen, enable listening so my computer will output the 3DS. Let me maintain the volume. So once that connects and I plug something in my 3DS like this. So now when I do stuff on my 3DS it will come out of my computer instead of the 3DS.
So this combined with using NTR will make it possible for me to completely wirelessly stream my 3DS. So now I'm going to show you how to set all this up. So first you got to go to the description of this video and click the mega link that will be this one and download the 3DS Capture Raw. So you have all the files you're going to need to run this setup. So once you have the raw file, you have to unzip it and you will get this folder. Um, inside the folder, I already prepared pretty much everything, but I can't like distribute pre-installed software. So inside these folders are like GitHub links and access to install stuff. And you should install them inside the directories, but it, for OBS it's required and the other ones are optional. But OBS like, I will install it as an example. I put blank folders here so you can see what the what it should look like. But you should just change this and install it inside this folder. And that way OBS will be inside here and my setup can actually load it from there. So as you can see it's now installing stuff here. Um, secondly, there is a one-time thing where you press this install.bat and it will move this thing to your um, system, uh, system directory. And this will make sure that you can move around folders from the comment line. So you press double click this and it will install this and it will delete itself. So I'm going to quickly make a backup of this folder. And once that's done, I will show that. Um, there's a README here with pretty much all the instruction that I'm going to tell you or show you right now. So that's there. So just this is optional. You don't need this. You don't need this. And you might need this, but you don't require it to run my setup. But what uh, this does is input redirection. So this will also be inside KitKat. But um, to set it up, I found it easier to have it external here and still use the KitKat version. So once you have all this, so OBS is now installed, and then run this. So now you see it um, deleted itself. So this is now installed. And once you've done that, um, you should install Connectify, but Connectify will install to your C drive. So what you should do is like head over to C after installing it and move this over. And that way Connectify is here. It doesn't really matter actually. Connectify can actually stay at C. It just has to auto boot. Um, for input redirection, I'm not going to use it right now. I'm just going to get KitKat for now. So download the latest KitKat. So now I can delete this too. And what you have to do first time is set up KitKat. So open it up and input your 3DS IP address here if it's blank. If it finds it automatically, that's good. Um, head over to settings and for my setup, the optimal settings are auto connect on launch, show NTR console. I put this at like 95 and I link that you take the KitKat batch that I have. So link the KitKat batch and you can also set up um, input redirection from here by, like by pressing F1 you can set your IP address by S by pressing F2 oh now it's actually bound to my 3ds but yes it is but um, as you can see, pressing F2 and 3 doesn't really work, and that's why I install them from here. And this one is for the PC. That's the one you need, actually. 
so download this one and you can open it up from here and change the settings and the settings will transfer to here so that's a tip um, but once you have done all that you can close out of this and head back to the setup so now let me quickly open this up and explain this a little this batch file is the key to everything so what it does is it first gets administrator rights that's not really important then we have some echoes and some stuff that opens up this is like for volume control and stuff KitKat with the name the only thing you really have to uh, worry about are this and the directory of your folder so my default directory for the download one is documents so see use a documents and then 3ds capture so if I go to this and then documents you can see 3ds captures here and this is my default location you can change that around by just like I usually I have my own setup in Dropbox so I would run this with Dropbox right here so you can change that around the second thing is like I said um, moving the volume control so what you could do is open the volume control from here and look at the name at top and enter that here and that should work if it does not you have to use a different way to do that but that's really hard to explain right now this should work so as you can see I'm on the other computer now usually I have a real tech setup now I have Nvidia so I change that and it works so that's pretty much all you can save out of this and run it so let me quickly show this is set up yes it is yes so if you run all it will do this let me move this around and as you can see it started this up and this is only 50% of what should happen and that's because I haven't linked the batch in this one but it doesn't really matter so first it starts the batch that will open up the recording what this is for so you can double click this and enable listening so you can hear your audio the second thing here is to set up your volumes for your microphone and this will connect so if we enable auto launch here and link the batch um documents and let's restart this so i have to now i'm i don't think i need to reboot my 3ds actually so so if i run this now As you can see, it will start everything up now. And it's because once you connect it with NTR, it will execute the second batch file, which will open the rest up and start everything up. So as you can see, I just one clicked and everything started up. And by pressing any key in the comment line, it will kill everything as well. What I suggest when you stream your 3DS is using a USB Wi-Fi dongle to host the network. As you can see, I have a private network here, which is called N3DS. It's not connected to it, it's hosting it. So this means my computer is making a hotspot and my 3DS connects to it. So I eliminate the router and my 3DS connects straight to my PC. That will get me a more direct connection so I will lose less frames and have less lag. To do that, you can use the hosted network comment, but I had so many issues with that, DNS errors and IP address conflicts, that I just use Connectify to like maintain my IP addresses. So I have the pro version, but you don't really need it. The free version does not allow you to change the name, but if you run this simultaneously with using the hosted network, you can use the hosted network SSID comment to change the SSID and it will actually change in Connectify so you can use those two together I'm just running Connectify so that will work but this works like this I have it set it on automatic and it's making a hotspot from my USB Wi-Fi dongle and shares the internet that I come from my cable I could also share the internet it gets from its own Wi-Fi but I don't do that because 
cable is more stable. So, hey, that Brian. So whatever. But um, setting up a hosted network will increase your performance by a lot, especially if your router is far away. Mine is actually not that far away, but it's still you completely eliminate another thing it has to travel through. So I really suggest using a hosted network. And uh, since it shares internet as well, my 3DS also has internet. The downside is my 3DS does not have internet if my PC is off because the hosted networks only runs when my PC is on. But most of the time when I play my 3DS, my PC is on anyway. And if I'm outside, I don't have Wi-Fi anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Well, that's how to use hosted network. And that should probably conclude the tutorial, I guess. So thanks for watching and I hope this video helped you out. See you next time.